literally, I was a self-taught artist. And the self-taught really comes out of me understanding the, the process of trial and error, you know, and kind of dabbling in a little bit of everything and learning the best of each one. Even if I'm not pursuing it as a living, it's just, I, I like to be active and creative. When the t-shirt project stopped, I was still doing those illegal murals, but then also doing commission murals and then doing a few group shows. And, um, and so at that point, that's all I was focusing on was just painting walls, legal, illegal, abandoned spaces, and then um, doing um, studio work and really honing that and fine tuning that. And then in 2009, I had a solo show at a Zero One Gallery in Los Angeles called Vintage Futurism. And that, even though I'd had some solo shows before that time, that was the one where I was like, this is it. This is where I'm stamping it. So I'd showed a number of the collage works and the, basically a show like this then, but where I was at that time. And it was, uh, it was very monumental for me because it was like me taking that big chance too. And it, it, it paid off. You know, the, atten the, the attention I got from it and the feeling like, okay, good, now this is where I can, I can move forward in. I feel comfortable. So, but that vintage futurism show kind of dictated my dialogue and how I communicate my work and I made a soundtrack for the show then. I was like, okay, these are the, these are the ways I want to share my art now. This is, my, this is how I sound, this is how it looks, this is where it's going. This manipulation of everything I'd learned and um, a, a, another manipulation of time and space and environment and you know, also needing to change the public that's aware of my work, that's been paying attention to my work, change their mind on what an artist that comes out of a, the graffiti culture can do. You know, we're not, we're not all just stuck there. Whatever like you were into before, and whatever kind of transition a young person's trying to make, it's, it doesn't, nothing happens quickly. If it does, it's, it's a, that's a fluke. Everything takes time to, to, you, know, you need to hone a craft. You know, you can't go in with soft hands. You need to, you need to, there's wear and tear you need to do. You need to really work on it. Nothing is, nothing should be easy. If it is, then that's not, what's it? It's not worth it. It should all be hard and, and earned. So I think there's no real, there's no real magical answer other than sticking to your guns, you know, and, and also I'm, I'm the kind of artist that appreciates Making the work, the, at the end result of it is fine. It's, it's, per, it's great. I'm involved in making it. I like my work. My work is technical because I like to, I like to be challenged. I like to have all of these different materials to manipulate and shift around. And, and you know, to some degree, it might be the only thing I have control of in my life. And um, it's just something that I... I need to do to make in the build. So I hope anyone that's, you know, I, I, again, I like work that needs that kind of, that, that attention. I like seeing that kind of attention in someone else's work. Most other contemporary artists whose work I like, because I know that they're kind of the same way. You can see it in their craft, so. Hopefully any, anyone else in the public can also see that in a per young person's art. That's also appreciated. You know, I don't, I don't like things easy. So you, you, gotta, you gotta put in some work. And this, is, this is 40 years here of fucking with it. It's, it's only coming together now. One of my ambitions is to get a, a, a larger space to work out of. And a larger space doesn't mean larger work. It just means a little more of a a space for me to pursue um, different kinds of tools, maybe for welding and working with metals, which is something that's not really in my in my um, catalog. And um, 
not so much saying sculpture, but just, you know, all my work has an obvious attention toward like some kind of imaginary constructions. And it seems like that's the next step. And maybe there's a little bit of peer pressure from others feeling that that's where I should go to. And like, I want to as well, but I don't, I want to go in when it's right. I don't want to jinx myself too, to say that. But I've, I've been playing around a little bit. I think when I do installations, that's, as, that's kind of the closest I get to it, to bring in these, all those found materials and sort of just build it on site. And it's, it's a little haphazard. You know, you can pull a couple things down, the whole thing will come down. But to make something a little more solid that'll outlast me is something that interests me in terms of my future. Come on, we're gonna hit the mountain. Come on, we're gonna hit the mountain.